Hey, good morning, good morning, good morning. John Edelson coming to you live from my garage in Laguna Niguel, California. It's going to be a sunny, beautiful day here, and I can't wait to get it started. Um, this is number 68, so I've done this about almost three months every weekday, so I'm pretty excited about that, being here at 5.30 in the morning to see you guys. Hey, so today I'm going to talk about the world's worst boss. This is an article I read by Seth Godin. Um, it basically says that the chances are the world's worst boss is you. Because you're not very good at self-disciplining yourself. Here's a problem I have. I'm self-employed. And I'm a terrible boss. My discipline can be horrible. I get so distracted all the time for little things. You know, I'm online, looking at stuff, working, sending out emails, making phone calls. Next thing I know, I see something pop up over here and I look on that. Next thing I know, I'm watching the Tesla race a Porsche and I'm watching Ultimate Skateboard Fails. And I'm in this some cat video hole again. So my self-discipline can be terrible. That's the hardest thing for me is being my own boss and pushing forward. Even if you're not self-employed, there's still a good chance you're your own boss. Because every day you make boss decisions like your career. Which direction you're going to go with your career? If you're going to stay at your job or leave your job. Um, what you do with your day. How your hours are spent. What your time is done with. If you're productive the whole time you're there. If you're goofing around. If you're trying to avoid work. If you're watching the clock. You know, your education, if you're trying to get better at what you do, trying to grow, learn, and get better every day at your job. So you're still, even if you're not self-employed, you're still your own manager. You're still your own boss. Are you doing it great or doing it poorly? You know, one thing I look at is my self-talk. What do I tell myself to keep myself going every day? Am I building myself up and saying that I'm doing a great job and pushing forward? Or am I beating myself down every day? You know, the self-talk is important. If a, a boss talked to me, the way I talk to myself sometimes, I would quit. Because sometimes I tell myself I'm not doing a great job. Good morning, Brian Milney. How are you, my friend? You're up early today. So, you know, that's one thing. If How's your self-talk? You talk to yourself and keep yourself motivated, keep yourself moving in the right direction. If I also find a boss that wasted as much of my time as I do, that came walking over, hey, check out this Tesla racing this Porsche. I'm like, oh, I'll watch that for a while. Or check out these skateboard fails. This guy <laughs> falls face first on the pavement. Oh, y'all yeah, check that out. You know, if I had a boss that wasted as much time as I do, I would quit or fire my boss. How is your training and education? You're your own boss. Are you taking care of yourself? Are you learning? Are you growing? Are you bringing your career forward? Needles. Hey, come by and see me. It's not too far out of the way. Um, hi, Cousin Lauren. How are you? So the thing is, keep training, keep moving forward. Even if you're working in a job or your own boss, you got to keep training and keep educating, going to seminars, doing everything you can to learn and get better. Have a laser focus. Really work on the one thing and figure out what you want to do. Um, you're always We're always amazed when other people do it. When they come in, they do it right. They come and say, okay, I'm going to work from home now. I'm going to build an internet business. I'm going to work from home. Next thing you know, a year later, they're traveling for two years with their laptop and able to accomplish everything they accomplished in their job remotely and traveling. We're saying, dang, how did they do it? Well, you know why? Well, maybe they had a, more money or maybe they had a better education or maybe they had this, maybe they had this. Or maybe they had a better manager. Maybe they managed their time better. Maybe they had more focus. You know, so that's what we got to think about. How do we manage our time? If we're gonna, if I'm gonna be at work and spending my time working, I need to be laser focused. I can't be goofing around and making a, a three hour day last eight hours. I gotta get in and get after it. So that's what I'm saying today. So be your own best boss. Be your own best manager. Whether you're self employed or working for someone else, there's very few good management books out there right now, and there's even fewer self management books out there. So if you can, find one, read about it, grow, improve, learn. That's all I have to say about today, guys. And hey, I want to let you know it's going to be an awesome Monday. Go out there and kick some ass because I love you very much. I'll talk to you later. Bye.